Welcome everyone to another video. Decided to pull a trip this weekend and head up to the Flinders Ranges again to Mount Little Station this time. In the cruiser of course. Just stopped here at Bundalia State Forest at the picnic ground just to grab a bite to eat, have some lunch and then continue on my way. Um, uh, probably had a couple of hours drive to go at the moment so uh, yeah, going pretty well. Um, fuel economy is really good on the cruiser right now. Uh, ever since replacing the injectors after having that issue from the last trip. And uh, yeah, it's going well. So I'm going to grab some lunch and uh, then head on in about 10 or 15 minutes. And I'll catch up with you guys when I get to Mount Little Station. All right, change of plans, guys. Uh, I was going to drop into Mount Little Station, uh, but their only payment option was cash, and I didn't carry cash with me, and I wasn't told this by email. So I'm back here at Myrna Mora Station. Uh, I'm setting the cruiser up now. Uh, set up. My rear lights are being intermittent, which is kind of a pain, but it is what it is. So you're just setting up now, um, get the swag out a little bit later. And um, yeah, being those daylight savings, got heaps of daylight left. I'm just gonna sit down and chill for a bit and uh, enjoy the scenery. Their campsite here is pretty good. And it's uh, completely different to the one I stayed at over Easter. This one's closer uh, to the homestead. All right, so swag's all set up. So for those wondering what I use, I use a crash pad King Single. And then in here, I just have a uh, Black Wolf inflatable pillow and I've got the uh, crash pad sleep system. A really comfy night's sleep. And uh, you stay nice and warm. So that's my sleep system there. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to tie it down tonight. It doesn't seem real windy right now. I guess I can always get up and tie it down if I need to. I am the only one here. I thought what we might do is maybe go for a uh, bit of a look down this creek. See what we can find. So, let's go for a bit of a walk. And see what's down here. So, plenty of camp campfire pits here. With rock rings around them. I didn't bring any uh, firewood because it's kind of warm up here. Uh, but there is a storm Sunday. So, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one to see how wet it gets up here. Because about a week ago they had floods. So, this is the creek system, uh, which is, yeah, it's quite a nice looking creek. Don't think it's seen much water, but yeah, that's it there. Cruiser's parked up here. We're going to get a visit from uh, Philip, his name is, regarding the track conditions for tomorrow. I'm doing the uh, Heritage Tour track. So that should be interesting. Um, that'll be the second track I've done up here. I've done the Babanyana track, I think it was called. So yeah, we're just checking around now. Um, we're all ripping around their motorbikes and in their 70 series utes. So yeah, if I had a, some fire, I would be having a fire out there, but of course, not today. I've got a problem with the electrical side of things here, that I had to cut power on these two, because it wasn't getting enough power. Then my switch wasn't working. Now my switch is working. And at night time, you'll see how bright that is. Um, I've been trying to get all four lights running, but I think there's a switch issue. Might have a little bit of a, uh, fault I think so I might have to go back to light force on that one under warranty which is kind of annoying um, in that case I'll just buy two individual switches I think and I'll get it sorted that way so anyway I'm gonna chill relax and then yeah grab some dinner I guess steak for dinner should be good
Good morning everyone. So I had a decent night's sleep. Around about six hours before the Corellas woke me up. And uh, gonna be packing down the awning now, leaving the swag and stretcher and uh, chair here. And we're gonna go do the Heritage Trail here at Menamora Station. So the Heritage Trail or Heritage Tour, whichever way you want to say it. So I mean, a bit hard here now the sun's out so yeah i'll be starting here at the campground working my way back through to get to a sign called ilka and that's where it starts and now i've got to go through all this area here up and then back down the scenic drive and back into the station and drop the key back so apparently this is uh, about a four to five hour uh trip plus i'll be filming in between so It'll be longer than that, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, I'm keen. Um, let's get this all packed up and we'll get on the road and down to the track. Time to head off. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go start this track. Um, I'll air down when I get to the first obstacle and we'll go see what this is all about. So kind of interested to see uh, what this trail is like. And um, yeah, let's get going.
first part done, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. Um, pretty basic, straightforward. A couple of those creek crossings got lost on that left-hand side. But hey, what can you do? Uh, no one's driven these tracks in a week, and due to the rains up here, it got a little bit flooded. But yeah, we're going to keep going. And I've got to go left down here. And then I've got to go right, and I'm up into the next section. Um, yeah, it's going to be wet, be a bit slippery. Um, I'll determine if I do those steep climbs or not. Made it up here to the lookout, well, the first of the two lookouts, and it's pretty easy going. There's quite a few washouts, though, especially coming up here. I dropped into one, didn't feel nice, but cruise is going really well. Um, part time conversion is working properly, it's all good. Um, yeah, not complaining one bit. Starting to drizzle a little bit now in rain. Uh, that's okay, though, it's kind of humid up here, so. Yeah, nice little track uh, so far. We'll see what the rest holds. And yeah, obviously just showed you the lookout up here. And it's, yeah, it's great. I like it. Just want to show you guys this uh, wall, I guess. Natural formation of uh, rocks. Looks really cool. So I'm going to go check it out now. Just coming back down from that lookout. Just crawled it down. First gear low range, not a problem. Um, yeah, the big washout I went through before, managed to avoid it this time. So, yeah, I'm going to show you this wall now, once I get up to it again. Not that far off the track, so. so found that this was really interesting, um, especially from up there, because it went the whole way down. So, that's some really cool looking rock. Uh, granite, I guess. Um, just looks, looks very cool. Nice and scenic. I'm enjoying this little tour. And you know, if you don't get out there and see things, and just to stay home and look at stuff on the internet, you're not living your life. Get out there, guys. It's not that hard. Don't matter what you drive. Hey, I used to do it in a 90 series Prado, now I'm doing an 80 series Land Cruiser. Both will get you the same place. One's just a bit more robust than the other. Yeah, this looks awesome. Very, uh, very cool. All right, let's go check out this other lookout and uh, see what that's like.
What an amazing lookout. The view here is wild. So nice. Ever been up here at this time of the year where it's been so green because of the rain? It's usually it's very barren and dry, so this is a really nice change. Still drizzling, but it's okay. All right, time to keep going. And uh, we'll push on and see what the rest of the track is. We're just over halfway now, 0.26 of 40. Uh, so yeah, a little bit more driving to go. And we'll see what else there is. So, hope there's some more interesting things to see. Well, that looked harder than it was. Still drizzling with rain, but that's fine. Still dry as dry as out here anyway. What an area. Check out this place. This is green. Green for K's. Then you got these, you know, there must be like a creek or something over here, all these gums. Beautiful. Gonna put the rear locker in because I had problems in the last hill. So, all right, low range, first gear, let's crawl up, crawly boy. It's the last one, but still steep. That real steep one from before, I reckon. Yeah, All right, I'm going into first gear on this one because this is pretty wild. Ease my way down here, see? All right, coming up. I've like reversed down half of this before.
one that holds in. Sliding around a little bit, we're okay. A little bit of gentle braking. track goes down. It's kind of getting towards the bottom of that low range section I think. Yeah, be like a 38 sign somewhere. That's the end of the track that was pretty good i enjoyed it obviously the one sketchy section with that low range and having to reverse back down the hill solo that was a yeah that was a bit of an eye-opener but yeah not bad so cruiser went well i'm gonna head back to camp now hand the key back in and uh yeah if you're interested i am starting a patreon and i'll upload this track as a map file for you to put into your own GPS or Google Maps so you can see how it goes. Um, I'll put the link in the description down the bottom. But yeah, off we go back to uh, camp, hand, back, hand in the key and make some lunch because I am starving right now. What a wild night that was. So there was uh, reports of a storm coming through but we're all like 
here. Nah, it's not gonna happen, no way's wrong. Nope. At about 1.30 this morning, huge storm come through, lightning, thunder, you name it. Wind, uh, everything got wet, swag soaked. I was packing up, started raining again. So, from those ranges at the end of October. And it is uh, completely saturated up here. So, this is gonna call the end of my trip. I'm gonna cut it a day short. Um, otherwise, I was trying to set up anywhere. It'd be kind of a nightmare, especially when it's raining like this. So, um, yeah, it was a good trip. Um, hope you enjoy the four-wheel drive content. If you haven't done so, feel free to hit subscribe. Hit that like button and turn on notifications by hitting the bell next to the subscribe button. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.